Hey everybody, it's Chad Campbell, Certified Functional Medicine Provider with Redesign You and Hope Family Care. And I wanted to uh, come and give another update. Um, one of the things I wanna talk about first is um, all of this media, you know, the news, um, all we hear is about the tragedies, the tragic the crises. We hear about all these, the up to 6,000 6, deaths as of last night, this morning. Um, uh, the reaching over a million cases in the world. And we hear these horrible things that are happening all the time. Um, what we don't get to hear much is about all of those people that are getting better. Right now, the, the, the guess is 1% um, or less are dying from this. It's 1%. That means 99% of people are not. Meaning 99% of people are going to get better. It doesn't mean what their path will be while they're going through trying to get better. But 99% of people will get better. And that should be encouraging to all of us because all we hear about on the news is the actors like Tom Hanks and his wife, the actor of Game of Thrones, the athletes, the news people, Andy Cohen, and how tragic it is that they got this. But then what we don't hear is they took care of themselves. They went into isolation. They ate right, they slept, and they got better, and they're back to their homes and back to their places. So the one thing I want to ask everybody is to remember, 99% will get better. What happens during that time is decided by what we do. So isolation, yes, it's not just something to consider. It's really something you should be doing. Eating right, yes because we know that the people who are overweight and the people with diabetes are at higher risk right now for whatever reason, whether it be an inflammatory state that they're having inside of their body currently that needs to be addressed. Um, and most likely that's the cause, but it just tells us we need to eat right. We need to make sure that we're not just craving the sugars and the caffeine like we do under times of stress, like we are. Explore new vegetables, explore new fruits, walk with your family, fall in love with your spouse all over again. Let the kids get to see parts of you that you never got, they never got to see before. This is super hard and what I have realized is the hardest part of all of this is the stress of, of toggling home and work. You go to work. And now when you go home, you're supposed to be teaching your kids. And I have an amazing wife who is, deals with most of all of this. But it's still hard because that moment that you have to kind of sit, you really don't get because you need to be teaching the kids. And you don't want them to feel that stress. So instead of focusing on all of the negative stories on the news and all of the negative things that we keep hearing and all of the crises that we keep hearing, let those people who are dealing with that take care of that. That's really bold, I know. But let them take care of that. Help your local community and what their needs are as far as masks and gloves and, and et cetera. Focus now on your family. Focus on enjoying your kids. Focus on the positive time that you're getting right now. Because when will you get this time like this again? When will that happen? So I want to encourage everybody, these things keep changing, more and more stuff, the, the, the treatments with hydroxy and azithromycin, the things with the supplements, the things with um, new interventions, it's still not there. Nobody knows yet. And like I said in the previous one on the anti-malarial update, if you're interested in that study, go ahead and check it out. There will be some more coming, more studies, and very excited to see what those show. Um, there are some big people on the media talking, saying we need to start this now. I would encourage uh, to, to wait for the, the studies. Unless you're hospitalized under monitoring, and that's a decision between the patient and, and the doctor, um, please don't just start buying this type of stuff over the counter or on the black market or in Mexico 
and start taking this stuff. Please don't. Think of the positives. 1% die, meaning 99% of us don't. Most everybody gets better, but we have our part. We have to take care of ourselves. We have to take this serious and isolate ourselves and enjoy that time with our family that we may never get this chance again. I'll continue to bring updates and please just remember 99%. Thanks.